Hello everyone. Very good morning. I I want to take this opportunity to record this uh, slide presentation because uh, I I noticed that some of you uh, require or want um, repetitive explanation. So when I do this, uh, you guys can watch this uh, video uh, over and over again. Okay. Look at this uh, biodiesel uh, uh, spectrum here. So, biodiesel in general can be produced by uh, two reactions, okay? So, one is called uh, esterification and the second one is called transesterification, okay? Now, for esterification reaction, this is a reaction between, okay, a free fatty acid Okay, one mole of free fatty acid react with one mole of alcohol, in this case is methanol, and uh, producing one mole of uh, fatty acid metal ester and one mole of water. Now, this esterification reaction can be catalyzed by uh, three uh, catalysts. Number one is acid. Number two is enzyme, and number three is supercritical methanol. Okay, basically, uh, supercritical methanol is not a catalyst, but this is a process where the reaction is conducted at the supercritical condition of methanol. So, remember your thermodynamics. What is the meaning of uh, supercritical? Supercritical is a state where uh, solid, gas, liquid are not distinguishable. So this occurs at a certain pressure and temperature. Usually it's high pressure, high temperature. Okay? So that is esterification. Uh, the second process to produce biodiesel is triglyceride. Okay? This is triglyceride. One mole of triglyceride. React with three moles of uh, alcohol producing three moles of uh, fame and one mole of glycerol. Now, unlike esterification, transesterification can be catalyzed by acid, a base, enzyme, and supercritical methanol. Interesting, right? So, okay. Uh, however, uh, let me um, help you to understand. Free fatty acid and um, alcohol can be reacted by a base. Okay, it's not because can't. Uh, we can, but instead of getting fame, you will get soap because if you use base react uh, catalyst for uh, reacting FFA and uh, uh, methanol, uh, you will get a saponification reactions is opposed to um, uh, fame, okay, or esterification. Now, what is the difference between free fatty acid and triglyceride? Ah, so, look at the structure here. This is a chemical structure of uh, triglyceride. And this component Okay, it's actually free fatty acid. Do you see the structure here? Ah, so what happens if triglyceride is not stable or get oxidized or under certain condition, this bond will break and actually releasing free fatty acid. Ah, that's why in the experiment you use, for example, oil. We shouldn't get um, free fatty acid, but then when you do the reaction, you get soap. So, which means that oil contains high FFA. Understand now? So, that's why if palm oil industry, when they sell palm oil, uh, there is a parameter called uh, oil content and they have FFA content. That is to measure uh, how much impurities, because in that sense, FFA is called unwanted. Uh, component because it basically breaks off from the triglyceride uh, chain. So um, this is a simplified version. I hope you understand. And um, 
I, I, I just want to again help you to understand the difference between fame and biodiesel. Okay? Now, before I explain that, I just want to explain between diesel and biodiesel. Diesel is the diesel extracted from petroleum from a non-renewable source. But biodiesel is a diesel that is obtained from renewable sources like vegetable oil. Now, for, biodiesel, for diesel to be used as a fuel in the vehicle, it must fulfill certain uh, properties like cloud point, poor point, density, viscosity, and many more. So similarly with biodiesel, it must meet certain standards. So usually there, there, there are two standards. One is the STM standards, and the second one is EN standards. So that standards listed out all the properties, and the FAME, F-A-M-E, must be purified to meet the standards before they can be used as biodiesel as a fuel in the car. Okay, so clear, understand about that. And then um, regarding biodiesel, uh, glycerol and water. Okay, glycerol, for your information, is an expensive product. <laughs> All right, so this is a product uh, produced from transesterification reaction and it can be actually sold okay and it makes money for the company um yeah you ask question about water and uh, water here actually uh, it doesn't produce soap but water can cause solvation effect that is actually to interfere with the catalyst as well as alcohol and the presence of high water actually disturb the reaction all right so that's all for now. It's already seven minutes. I hope that helps. Uh, thank you. And we meet again next time. Thank you.